Now for this part of the question we've got to work out what e of t is and the variance of t. e of t remember is the expected mean and to do this we should be familiar with our formulas okay e of t is equal to the integral of t times the probability density function f of t integrated with respect to t going between the limits 0 to 10 so 0 to 10. Normally we have this with x's in, okay, formulas like this will be in your formula book, e of x equals the integral of x, f of x, dx, okay. So all we need to do now is just work this out then we've got the integral from 0 to 10 of t multiplied by f of t which is 1 50th t or t over 50 if you like okay and don't forget that dt there integrating with respect to t so we can bring the 50th out the front of the integral you don't have to but it's always good habit to get into so that's integrating from 0 to 10 t squared with respect to t and what we've got then is that 1 50th and we can integrate t squared it's going to be t cubed over 3 add 1 to the power divide by the new power all right and then the limits 0 to 10. if we take the 3 out the front we've got 1 50th times effectively a third which is 1 150th and then all we've got to do is substitute t in as 10 so we've got 10 cubed and then minus what we get when we substitute t as a zero, zero cubed. Well, 10 cubed is a thousand divided by 150 and what you end up with is 20 over three. And there's your exact value. We're asked to give the exact value. So 20 thirds for that. Now we move on to the variance of t. Now when you're working out the variance of a random variable, in this case t, it is always e of that random variable squared, okay, minus e of that random variable all squared. Now we know e of t, we've just worked it out here, 20 thirds, so that's okay, but we haven't got e of t squared. So we need to stop off and work that out. So We'll do that first of all. We'll put now e of t squared equals, and again we should know this formula, it's the integral of t squared this time times f of t dt, with our limits again going from 0 to 10. Well f of t we know then is 1 50th t, I'm going to put the 1 50th out the front of the integral, so we've got 1 50th there, integral of t squared times another t, t over 50, so it's going to be t cubed in here, dt. Going from 0 to 10. Now if I integrate this, we've got 1 50th then multiplied by t to the power 4 over 4, add 1 to the power and divide by the new power and that's again going from 0 to 10. So what we've got now is 1 200th if we just times the 50 with the 4, so 1 200th, then we've just got to substitute the t for a 10 and so we've got multiplied by 10 to the power 4 minus effectively 0 to the power 4, or sim simply 0. 10 to the power 4, 10,000 divided by 200 gives us exactly 50. So now that we've got our values for e of t and e of t squared, we can work out the variance, the variance of the random variable t. It's going to be then e of t squared, which is the 50, minus 20 over 3 all squared and if you work that out the exact value comes to 50 over 9.
All right, so that's how I would certainly set out how to work out E of T and the variance of T. Okay.